I'm known by family and friends as the Z-Coil girl because I do wear these shoes all the time. Hey everyone, it's Issa and welcome back to my channel here. I've been a bit in and out of creating videos. I am a multi-hyphenate, so I do do many things, but I always really enjoy coming back to my video making. So I'm very happy to be here today because I'm doing a video on my favorite, 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 favorite <laughs> shoe, which is dun, 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 Z Coil. I love Z Coils so much. They are actually my favorite shoe in the whole world. And I'm known by family and friends as the Z Coil girl because I do wear these shoes all the time. I'm not kidding. I wear them on set because I am a stylist here in LA, on the town, on hikes. They are starting to see a little bit of condition, but it's proof that I have worn them to death. I bought my first pair of Z-Coil in 2019. I was looking for a comfortable shoe that also had a orthopedic vibe to it because I was noticing when I was standing for a long time, my feet would hurt and I just was like, there must be a way that I can find a cute shoe, especially because chunky shoes were coming into trend at the time. That was also stylish. And so I did a bit of research, I went down a wormhole, and I discovered Z-Coil. The rest is history. I bought my first pair four years ago and have since had about four pairs of Z-Coil in different styles. I absolutely love them. It's the best fusion of functionality and fashion for me. I am a fashion girly. To the core but i do enjoy being comfortable and i really like this futuristic cyborg kind of vibe that the z coil has i also enjoy all the friends i meet <laughs> when i wear z coil because i swear every time i'm walking down the street i run into someone who goes oh, what are those shoes can you dunk in them whoa you look like a cartoon character i have met many people old, young, everything in between wearing these shoes. And it has made my heart so happy because I've gotten to connect with some really awesome folk and also just tell them how much I love this shoe because I truly love this shoe so much. So I thought we'd start this video with talking a little bit about the history of the shoe, how this crazy design came into fruition. The company is based out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, and it is still a relatively small family business to this day. It was started by a man named Alvaro Z, Z Coil, and his last name is Gallegos. Today, his son, Andre, he runs the business. Alvaro, or Al, he originally came from a small farming community in Southern Colorado, didn't grow up with very much money, but had an entrepreneurial spirit that guided him to start various businesses, owning department stores, and really making a name for himself. However, tragedy struck when his wife, Marcella, suddenly passed away. And in order to be his healthiest self, he took up running. While he was running, he ended up having some joint pain. And so when he was out and about one day, he was struck with this idea of putting a coil on a shoe in order to reduce impact. So in 1991, the idea was born. And by 1992, with a lot of prototyping and speaking with friends, Z Coil came into the sphere. Originally, it was a running shoe. However, it has moved into pain relief and in my opinion, also into the fashion space as well. The shoe is great because it is helpful in alleviating shock um, due to the nature of the coil. So it's really good if you have plantar fasciitis, hip pain, foot pain, etc. I can vouch for this as someone who works on set and it can be a 10 hour day. These shoes make my feet feel so good. I looked on the Z Coil website and also checked in with myself about my opinion of the sizing. And I do recommend going a half size up from your normal shoe size. And that is because Z Coil doesn't have half sizes. They only have whole sizes. For instance, I am an eight and a half, nine, and I went into the 
nine category and they fit really well. The shoes themselves are pretty wide. That's nice because you have a little bit more room, your toes aren't crammed. I have pretty wide feet and so I really like that aspect of the shoe. And they run on the website about 250 for a pair. But in my experience, I found that you can buy them secondhand. So you can check out Poshmark or eBay um, to purchase a pair of shoes there as well. All right, so here is my pair of Black Freedom Z Coil. As you can see, here is the coil, and then this is the rest of the shoe. I've had these for about two years or so, um, but I've worn them a lot, like I said, on set and just out and about. I really like the mesh on these shoes. I enjoy the sneaker version. I think it's really practical and um, also fun and kind of this look twice when you're walking down the street because people, they think you're wearing sneakers and they're like, wait, what? They lace up in the front. They have a pretty thick sole. So the sole is kind of like, yeah, about like an inch. Um, and then it has this hard structure around the bottom where the coil is, which keeps everything together. And you can actually replace the coil. So that's another question that people have asked me, either through Z Coil itself or uh, Comfort Shoes, for instance. You can go and you can actually get a new coil, which is really cool and also very sustainable because you don't have to actually throw away your shoe or anything. You can just get a new coil. So this is one of the pairs I have. I have three pairs, or actually I had three pairs. I had the white leather ones, but I actually left them in Berlin when I was there this summer because they wouldn't fit in my suitcase. I actually left them on the street with a little note because they were in like pretty good condition still. So I hope someone is out there rocking the white Z coils in Berlin, probably very styled up. <laughs> So these are the Mary Jane style Z coils. As you can see, they have the classic strap across the front of the foot, as well as the coil, which we love to see. The sole again is thick rubber on the front and then this kind of hard plastic um, wrapping. I really love these. I like the style specifically because it looks really cute with some fun socks or even just worn with no-shows. Especially these I tend to wear going out just because they are a bit more feminine um, while still being fun and out of the box. So for the next part of the video, I'm going to try on the Black Freedom Z coils so you can see how they look. And I'll walk around a little bit so you can also note how the heel compresses so that your foot is actually stabilized. I think sometimes people think that they're gonna be on their tippy toes, like high heels, when wearing the Z coils, but that's not the case. Your heel is actually level with the rest of your foot. I'll roll that next so you can get a look at how they are on. made it to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed learning all about Z Coil, aka the best shoe ever. <laughs> if there's anything I missed, any questions you still have, please do leave me a comment down below. I was thinking it could be really fun to do a styling video around Z Coils, especially since I do do styling. So if that's something that interests you too, please let me know. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate if you liked it and subscribe to my channel. I make fashion and travel content, and so if that is something that interests you, I would love if you stuck around. I look forward to seeing you in upcoming videos down the line. Bye.